Aha, real funny guys. You guys can come let me down now. Guys, this isn't funny anymore. Guys. Well, I'm actually stuck up here and I'm not sure how I'm gonna get out of it. Anybody got any suggestions on how I can get out of this duct tape? Shout it out, go ahead and shout it out right now. Help me out. Maybe if I pull real hard. Like... No, that's not gonna work. Maybe if I free my hand. I'm just stuck real good right now. Well, I'm gonna try and figure out how I can get out of this. While well, you guys check out this week's episode, of Trapped. Boo. Did I scare you? I'm only joking. You know me. You do know me, right? I'm the butterflies in your stomach, the sweat on your brow, the lump in your throat. I'm what keeps you awake at night. I'm what keeps you from trying anything new, or taking a chance, or becoming who you were meant to be. I am fear. But today, you can call me Griffin. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. In fact, I might even help you if you give me the chance. The choice is yours. You can pretend that I'm not here, but, but you, you can't, can't ignore me forever. me forever. And once I'm in your head, you'll have to face me. And until you face me, you're trapped. Going somewhere? What's the matter? Don't you speak? You, in the chains, say something! I can't hear you! Where, 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 where am I? What's going on? The boy has questions. I think that hello would have been way more polite. Who, who are you? Well, I do apologize. I, I'm usually not this rude. I'm Griffin. And you're Sloane. Fifteen years old. Parents recently divorced. We live with your mom, Kim, and your little sister, Tara. And a little kitty cat named Samson. Meow. Well, I think that does it for introductions. I think we're all caught up, don't you? How, how do you know all that about me? Now, now, I'm allowed to have my secrets, aren't I? What is happening? More questions. Hey, tell me, what's the name of that game? The one with all the questions. Somebody asks a lot of questions and the other person guesses. Tell me, what's the name of it? Tell me. Tell me! So 20 questions. Yes! That's it! Ah! Oh, that was bugging me. <laughs> I love games, don't you? Oh, I can tell by the look on your face you want to play a game. We'll play a game. What should we play? I know. How about red light, green light? I'll begin. Red light, stop! <laughs> You're good. Ah. Red light. Green light. Green light. Go! Go!
You didn't do what you were told. You lose. It's too bad. You seemed so promising. I can't go anywhere. You do want to leave, don't you? Fair enough. You are free to go. Free to go. What's the matter? Did you change your mind? I can't. I can't go anywhere. You know that I can't. So please, just let me go. We'll give this another go. What do you say? Listen. Red light. Green light. Stop. Hey, that's my line. What do you want? That's not how the game is played. What game? The one that we're playing. Come on, Sloane, pay attention. What is going on? What do you want? That's two questions. My turn. What do you want? That's my question. Now, that's not an answer. Tell me, what's a nice kid like you doing in a place like this? You brought me here, didn't you? Now why would I do a thing like that? New game, show and tell. I'll show, you tell. Here, we'll start with this one. Who is that? I, I, I don't know him. Seriously? Sloan, that's no way to talk about your best friend. He's not my best friend. You only say that because you've never bothered to meet him. Next. Where was this taken? Hmm? I, I don't, I don't know. Is, is this a mountain or something? I... Wrong. It's where you went camping last summer. I've never been to camp. Exactly. You're getting it. He's getting it. I, I don't get it. Cancel that! Doesn't get it! <sighs> okay, next. Ah, oh, yes. Tell me, what do you see? <sighs> Please, I, I, I don't want to play anymore! Oh, clearly I've upset you. Just stop, okay? Now, Sloane, I can't help you unless you tell me how you feel. I'm just... Just tell me, what do you see? My parents. My dad. What about you, Dad? What is he doing? They're fighting again. He's leaving. And how does that make you feel? I, I can't. I don't. He's leaving. Your father is leaving. Do you chase after him? No. Why not? Why not? What's keeping you from running after him? Tell me, Sloan. How does that make you feel? I'm scared. I'm always afraid. <laughs> and now, we're getting somewhere. It's time. Stand up. What? Are you letting me go? Stand up, Sloan. Are you taking me somewhere? Stand up. Is this some kind of bad dream? Somebody wake me up! No one is coming for you, Sloane. Stand up! What are you going to do to me? Stand up, Sloane! Tell me what will happen if I do! What will happen if you don't? Now stand up, Sloane, now! Ah! Now was that so hard? With the lock. You only saw the lock. 
You didn't ever think to ask if it could actually hold you. You believed that you were stuck, and so you were. And now you're free to go. You said I was free to go. And so you went. And now you're back. It appears that you aren't ready. What's wrong with you? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> me? I'm the least of your worries. What is it? Only your worst nightmare. Tell me, Sloane. What are you most afraid of? Well, I finally got myself unstuck. No more duct tape. Let me ask you guys a question. How many of you thought today was a little scary? Raise your hand if you thought it was scary. Well, I hope it was a little bit because that was intentional. Because throughout this series, we're gonna be talking about fear. And as you could see, I was stuck to the wall with that duct tape, and I could really relate to Sloan in this episode because he was trapped and stuck in chains. Those chains that Sloan was stuck in, those represented his fear. It was his fear that was keeping him stuck. It actually reminds me of a story. A long time ago, I was at this camp and there was this high ropes course. How many of you guys have ever been on a high ropes course before? They're pretty awesome. So this particular high ropes course though, it was two people had to get through together. They were partners. And I had this partner, his name was Dell. And Dell, while we were on the ground, he was trash talking this high ropes course. He's looking up at it all the way up in the sky going like, oh man, I got this. This ain't no big deal. I'm totally gonna do this. We got this, man. This is gonna be awesome. So we finally climb our way for what seems like forever, all the way up to the top of the ropes course. And there's this one part where you, you have to go hand to hand and you have to sort of walk across like this sideways, leaning on each other's weight. And while I was grabbing Dell's hands, I could just feel his hands just trembling with fear. And each part of the way, there would be these poles that would come up out of the ground. And we get to this one pole and Dell grabs hold of this pole so tightly. And he's like, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. I'm so, I'm so afraid, man. I'm scared. I, I don't want to keep going, man. And I'm like, Dell, you got to keep going. The only way to get out this is to let go and keep moving forward to get down. That's the only way. And that's what fear is really like. When we fear something, it causes us to, to grab hold of it. It causes us to get stuck and not be able to move forward. That's a lot like fear. Fear keeps us stuck. It keeps us holding on and we can't let go because we're too afraid to move on and move forward. Fear keeps us where we're at. Now, I wanna say this. Fear in general is a bad thing, but there are times when fear is actually a good thing. Sometimes fear actually keeps us alive. So let's just say you're like on a mountainside and there's a giant cliff and you come running towards the edge of the cliff. It's gonna be fear of falling that's gonna keep you alive. See, sometimes fear is a good thing because it actually keeps us surviving and keeps us alive. But when it comes to our day-to-day -day lives, fear is not a good thing. It can become very, very crippling. When we're afraid of something, when we have fear inside, it can cause us to miss out on so many different things. We can miss out on so many different experiences because we're stuck. We can miss out on so many great relationships because we're caught up in our fear. Look at what it says in the Bible. In Isaiah 41.10, it says this, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Did you just hear that verse? It says, don't be afraid, that God will help you and that God will strengthen you. There's no reason to live your life in fear, whatever it is that you fear in your life. Because if you let him, 
God will be in control of your life. He will help you out and he will help you through and he will give you the strength to overcome whatever it is that you fear in your life. So, I want you to name it. Think about that in your life. What is the thing you fear the most? Because here's what I want you to do with it. I want you to be able to name that fear and I want you to turn it around and give it over to God because he will strengthen you and help you through it.